Come on. My ally has been defeated. But I got this army, dude. So I'm gonna use EOD here on their on their feet. What is up, guys, and welcome to the Beyond Sanity. My name is Shanks, and today we're gonna play a 4v4 matchup on a beautiful map in it with with outposts, with three given spots exclusively. And I've never done this before. Hopefully, it's gonna be fun in Fiesta, and hopefully, you guys will also enjoy. Okay, we get to play Rohan, Rohan, Isengard, Isengard combination, Master, the Rohirrim. In it wave, a wide open land that lies to the west of Rohan, so we have also home advantage. <laughs> okay, let's do this. I'm gonna actually open with double farm, and we need to kind of use those two peasants for the map control. But we need to first of all, first of all, give them some weapons, you know? Okay. Meriorok Brandybork. Um, it looks like Isengard wanted to creep this, I believe. Let's see. Okay, so I'm I'm not gonna do that in this case. I will let it get. I mean, let I will let Isengard get this. And my other Rohan is also creeping with the two peasants. Okay. I mean, what is the plan? That's a very good question. And my answer is I don't know. I don't know because I've never played this. The only times I've played on this map was actually when I was playing 1v7 against 7 hard armies. And I was also able to do that, by the way, guys. These videos are also on my channel. Uh, 1v7 videos on an outpost map. I was able to do that with every faction with, beside with Mordor. I believe uh, that it's, you know, with Mordor it's kind of impossible. <laughs> it's just too hard, you know. Okay, so the plan is to get as many farms as we potentially can. Because then we can rush heroes like Legolas, Aragorn, Gimli. And I believe... In a situation like that. Oh, nice. Minus 200 Mordor. Mary is showing his quality. I believe Rohan is very strong because we get the chance to get those, you know, very strong heroes like the three hunters, you know, Gimli, Legolas, Aragorn. They are very powerful. I'm gonna cheese them actually. I'm gonna try to buy the outpost here and bully him all the time. It's kind of confusing though. I mean, the map's design is kind of confusing and I don't know on which part I need to be focused. Uh oh okay i mean <laughs> it's whatever dude i can't i can't i can't hold this i'm gonna try to build the tower too but i don't think it's gonna change anything but yeah we are kind of doomed we are kind of doomed uh um okay there was like a big investment into nothing and i also lost my peasants for no reason but at least we are buying some time okay okay I need to cancel the tower. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer, but then I need to cancel it. Uh, yeah, I will get the full money back when I cancel it, you know? Yeah. yeah okay, we cannot find it. Okay, we have almost the money for Legolas, though. That's gonna be... Uh, okay, Mary, sorry for that, but I cannot save you. You cannot even cloak when the Eye of Sauron is upon you. I will be revealing all the invisible units, including the cloaked hobbits, you know? My ally is kind of in trouble. But I have really nothing to help him with. And my other ally, the White Rohan, is actually pushing forward. I don't know what's happening, dude. <laughs> it's so confusing for me. I don't know what's happening. Somebody is beaconing me. Uh, you know. I have like zero command points, dude. I have nothing to offer for you. I will also recruit Theorin. Um, then I can use Theorin to trample down those Plep peasants, you know. So what I want to do is I want to get the outpost. And then I want to recruit, first of all, archers. Like, normal archers, elven warriors. Okay, my ally should be able to defend himself, I believe. When I think about this uh, map, I believe Isengard can be very strong, you know. Imagine you start with Isengard, you bu build up two Uruk pits, recruit two Uruks, demolish the Uruk pits after, and then you rush with your starting Uruk and two extra Uruks, any player. Any player. Like, three Uruks with Warchant, how can you defend against that? I think that's undefendable. My ally is in a good spot. Um, can I defend this? Please. Okay, nice. Should be able to defend this with Theodin King. Theodin King rises. Come on. Come on. Nah, come on. Okay, nice. Not even close, baby. Calculate it. Calculate it. Okay, we need to recruit some yeoman archers. Oh, oh, I see Boromir there. Boromir, what you doing there, man? I'm gonna steal the creep from him. I'm gonna steal the troll. If I can steal it, you know what to do. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a thief. I'm a thief. I'm stealing the trolls. 
I'm also stealing woman's heart. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, I'm married, by the way. I mean, it's kind of true, right? Because I stole the heart of my wife in this case. Hey, Faramir. It's not your time to show your quality. I will bully you. May the better archer win. Oh, he got invisible. This guy know, knows magic. Nice. Okay, we got level 3. And if Faramir doesn't pay attention, I will kill him. I mean, Boromir got the experience from the troll but it's okay. We got to kill two trolls. That's pretty good. Somebody has been defeated already? Oh my goodness, my ally is popping off, guys. He defeated Samwise the, Sam the Wise. Samwise Gamji has been defeated. <laughs> Sam! I cannot carry it for you, but I can carry you, Sam! Okay. Um, Aragorn coming up next, though. I want to get Aragorn. Uh, when you have to make a choice between Aragorn and Gimli, even though Gimli is quite strong, but Aragorn also gives you leadership, you know, that's very important because we want to have as much leadership as we potentially can get and to make our units a bit stronger. Okay, I'm gonna chunk you. Oh, strike, please, can I can I hit it? Okay, nice, do it. Doom, son. Nice, so. I have heal from the spell book. Oh my goodness, my I need to pick heal. Okay, I need to heal him. What? Faramir has finally shown his, shown his quality, man. But well, it's really bad, dude. <laughs> because now I need to wait so much time to actually get my Legolas back in the business. That's very unfortunate. You will pay for this, Gondor. We can fight this, I believe. We have more leadership. And my ally was also upgrades on them. I mean, he has only uh, Boromir and Faramir, but we have Theodin and Aragorn. Um, and also upgrades, you know, on the Uruks. And we have also more units, so we should be able to win this fight. Okay, my ally was able to defeat the opponent player. That's very good. It's going to turn the 4v2, 4v4 into a 4v3 situation now. That means we should be in a good spot. Even though I believe the outnumbered advantage doesn't really have too much impact because the map is kind of huge and there are so many additional outposts people can kind of capture and they can stay alive pretty much non-stop. Um, and if they get the chance to clump and win one big battle, the push power is kind of immense. So my ally went for the horses. I'm happy about that because I believe I'm, I'm kind of regret. I'm kind of, I can't even talk. I'm kind of regretting the fact that I didn't get any cavalry on the field. I believe Cav is kind of crazy on a map like this. Boromir, the captain of Gondor, you will die. Lourdes is going ham to replay the scene of the films. Lourdes, look, 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 Lourdes. I have no heal, my friend. I cannot save you. I cannot save you. Lourdes, don't die. I can't heal you, man. My Atelas... I don't know. Guys, does my Atelas work on Lourdes too? I'm not, I'm not sure though. I don't think so. Because it's an evil hero. I believe you only can heal up the good heroes, you know? But maybe you could, and I didn't pay attention. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, infantry is kinda meh, because we need to rotate from one location to another location all the time. And cavalry can do that, of course, way, way faster. Um, okay. Guys, when you find yourself in a situation like that, when, for example, cavalry is charging at your combos or, you know, archers or heroes, you want to make sure to focus down and kill the enemy heroes ASCP. That's the most important you thing. My sword. Thank you so much for the follow, appreciate it. On the Twitch channel, means a lot. Okay, you have my sword. You thought that's coming from Aragorn in the game, but it's actually from the follow alert on my, on my <laughs> OBS. Okay, we have also Gimli on the field. Gimli massive power spike with level two, the leap attack can mess them up. And you know, it's important when you kill stuff with your archers, you want to put the heroes very close to them, so you can share experience with them. I'm gonna buy heavy armor and... Okay, I'm gonna look, heroes kill Theodin first. So the horses are losing a lot of their leadership bonuses. Kill! Come on! Nice, we killed them instantly. Very good. Very good actually, that's beautiful. But now we need to build because we got damage a lot and we cannot keep pushing. We need to kind of heal up around the fortress, around the well. Oh, he's gonna recommit on me. I'm gonna kill, try to kill Eoma now. Again, focus Eoma. I'm gonna spear, uh, extra two. Can I please? Come on. Eoma is gonna start. I'm gonna kill Eoma now. Nice. You see, like, we lost a little bit, but we killed two of his heroes. That's very good, you know, because remember the heroes, when you lose them, they have like a really long revive time, and the punishment is kind of big to kill them. 
And so he lost both the heroes. Now he needs to wait like a minute or two minutes, depends on the level of the hero he lost, um, to get them back on the field, which buys us so much additional time and gives us like the momentum advantage. The Skondor is kind of pushing a lot, but I believe the pikemen of my ally should be able to protect this. Um, I really wish I would have gone for the cavalry, <laughs> but now I'm gonna stuck with the in I'm gonna be stuck with the infantry. It's fine though. It's fine. Not pro no problemo. We got this game, boys. We got this game. Okay, we have le level six Legolas, level two Gimli, and level almost three Theodin King. What what's happening? Who is this? Is this my ally, or is this enemy player? Somebody's disconnecting, boys. I don't know who that is. I'm hoping it's an enemy player. <laughs> I'm hoping it's an enemy player. I don't know who that is, man. Come on. My ally has been defeated. But I got his army, dude. Nice. I got all his army because uh, he got disconnected. Um, there is a difference between being disconnected and between, you know, losing everything you have. When you lose everything you have, you have nothing to give to your ally. But if you have still units on the field and money, the second you leave the game or disconnect from the game, all your money is going to be transferred to one of your allies. And I was the lucky one. I was the lucky one. Maybe it's because he was next to me. And I got all the army from him now. Look, we have two Theodines and two Elmars. <laughs> I wish you would have gotten also Aragorn and Legolas. Can you imagine you have like everything in kind of in double? You know what I mean? How crazy that would be. Imagine you have like two Legolas level 7 shooting, you know, pew, pew, pew. Okay. Oh, you want to fight this? I'm going to bleep on you. Knock them down on the ground. Take this. You see how impactful Gimli is? We kill the heroes exclusively, boys. Remember what I was saying? We kill the heroes exclusively. We kill Theoden in a second. Boom. Okay, the Hawk Strike was kind of questionable. But we were able to win. Okay, remember I was always saying <laughs> since the beginning of the game, I wish I went, I went for the cavalry. Now I don't need to say that anymore because we have cavalry and also infantry at the same time. I'm going to commit to this area because one of my Theodians is level 4. <laughs> okay, so we have Glory Charge available and also one of our Elmas is level 5. That's also very good. We can now pick up the Anduril Sword, Anduril, the Flame of the West. And for Death and Glory. Right now, right for ruin and the world's ending. Oh, he's gonna give up the outpost. He doesn't want to fight, I think. Um, okay. We need to destroy the statue. Nice, beautiful. Destroy the full outpost. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And kill the steeple. Nice. It's a good fight for us. I'm gonna move to the top side and the, maybe I need to chase him or something. I don't know. We need more Rohirrim arches though. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna bring my infantry too, and I wanna. Okay, there was a mistake from me, man. Uh, I didn't keep Aragorn next to my units. Oh, he's gonna fight this. I think it's a mistake from him now. You cannot fight this. Against combos, you don't wanna fight in the melee range. You wanna trample them down on the ground. So we have to trample damage, and in addition to that, they can get, they will get knocked down, and they don't deal damage in the meantime, right? Okay, we have level three Gimli. Getting closer to the point of the Slayer. We're gonna de be destroying this outpost first. Uh oh, but there is Gondor coming. Two Gondors are coming to our side. Mm. I think I'm gonna lose the outpost, man. There is nothing I can do about that. I think I need to bring my cavalry units now to the main outpost from my ally. Okay, and Glorious Charge is still on cooldown, so we need to be kind of careful. We need more units. Remember what I was saying at the beginning of the game, we had only 120 command points available, right? And because our ally got disconnected and we got all his stuff, all his stuff means including his available command points. So we, instead of 120, we have now all of a sudden 240 command points, which is amazing because we can have like double the army, you know what I mean? But of course, you exchange that, you know, of having one less ally. Okay, I mean, our army is looking pretty strong. And maybe I need to bring also Aragorn to my Rohirrim arches. But I, wa I want to push like simultaneously with one with my Rohirrim army and with my Elven and Hero army at the same time. I have Glorious Charge available, I believe. Yeah, I'm going to use Glorious Charge and take down this outpost. Do it. Death. Okay. 
Okay, I mean, that was a mistake to use Glorious Charge there. I'm being honest with you guys. I didn't know that the outpost has no protection. There is no excuse. It was my, my bad. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what my allies are doing. I see the pink Isengard pushing a little bit. But we need the Isengards to get Freezing Rain. You know, that's going to be a massive power spike. In the level almost 5, that's dope. Nice. Okay. You want to fight? You want to fight? You want to play rough? Look my army, dude. There is, Ar there is Gandalf. I see Gandalf somewhere. I gotta keep recruiting more units. And join. You must join with him. Okay. Um, I need to help my ally, I believe. Matthias is asking for help. Matthias calls for it. And Shanks will answer. Master Doruhirim. You wanna attack my ally like that? Are you sure about that? Do you have Glorious Charge? Let me check. Nope, it's on cooldown. But I think we can still go for a trample. I mean, they have only ranges, no, no tower guard. So, I think we can kill them quite fast. Yeah, boy. There is Gandalf coming. Okay. Uh, without glory... Oh, I need to be... I'm gonna use the cover. Somebody used the Cloud Break. What? Did somebody use Cloud Break? How fat is this guy that he, had, that he has already Cloud Break? I mean, I have also almost Cloud Break, but still, you know? I want to chase down this Gandalf. In the meantime, we have captured the outpost. We can now rotate to the bottom side. Uh oh, there is Gandalf coming, so we need to bail. Oh, he got crippled. That's dope. Now we can use the now for drive, now for ruin, and the world's ending. Yoma, don't die. We have no heal. I'm not gonna go for the ends. I want to. Oh my! There is another Gandalf. I didn't see him. Okay, we finally killed this dude. Now we have also the power points for the cloud break. I don't know what's happening here. My heroes are getting chunked. I have no heal, but I'm in an awkward situation in which I can't really leave. I'm gonna use the Cloud Break now. Take down the outpost in the meantime. I mean, why are we losing this fight so hard, man? I need to demolish this and build a well. And that's very unfortunate. I lost one of my Elmars. That's very bad, actually. I think the Elmar I lost is also from my ally, so I cannot even revive him anymore. I mean, obviously, when your ally gives you... Oh, man. This is annoying. Okay, we need to find a solution to that. Also, this army is looking pretty strong from this dude, so... This game is actually not over yet. Because remember, my ally was able to defeat one of them at the beginning of the game. So it turned into a 4v3 situation, but then my ally disconnected. So it's a 3v3 situation now. Yes, I have two armies. But it's still three players against three players, you know? And my allies, they can't really compete, I believe. Because they are not able to push forward. The Gondor, Rohan, Rohan team... Or the Gondor, Gondor, Rohan team from the enemy team... They look pretty strong. Two guy loves. It's hard to deal with. I mean, the, the thing is, I could just be at the outpost with my army, but you cannot win the game like that. We need to keep pushing. However, when we push, the enemy is going to take down the outpost we cannot protect. So, and we need to kind of find a solution to this problem because the problem is that we... When we kill one and we lose one, it's still equal and we don't gain anything of that. I mean, I have a crazy army now. We can eventually trample them all. Glorious charge is almost available. And um, my ally can also watch on me, maybe. I don't know if he's paying attention. Now for Raph, now for Ruin in the world. And uh, there is Gandalf. I'm gonna just focus on Gandalf with all I got with my Rohirrim archers. Oh, he's peeling. Okay, that's that might be a bad commitment. I don't know, man. I'm trying. I need to kill the statues, but I can't click on it because there are too many units nearby. I'm gonna try to kill Gandalf with my Aragorn. Aragorn, attack him, maybe. Aragorn, attack him, dude. Oh, man. Oh, my Theodin. No, 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 no. I lost one of my Theodins, too. Oh, man. Back, 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 back. Back with everything what we got. Dude, we lost. We fed them so many power points there. What am I doing? Uh, they are one-shotting my Aragorn. What the heck? Can I get away with, can I get away with him? That's the question. What is my Legolas at? Legolas, can you arrow volley? No, okay. Cancel it. Oh my goodness, he's knocking my Gimli down. Oh! Help! SOS! Are I going to go back? Go back, 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 go back. I mean, I lost everything, dude. What? 
I lost my Gimli. My Legolas is gonna be also killed. Oh boy. At least my ally was able to get one outpost in the meantime, but... Oh, that hurts. Like, especially the heroes I got from my ally, I cannot revive them anymore. You know, I had, like, the chance to have, like, two, two Theodians and two Eomars, but... Now I'm reduced to one, and we also need to invest pretty much all the money we were able to save now into reviving all the heroes. But again, it's not only about the resources, it's also about the time. We need to now be waiting to get them back, you know, and that's a long time. And also this outpost is going to be taken down. We need to make sure to demolish the statues in wells, because they actually give too many power points to the opponent player. So demolishing them will deny that, deny that from happening. I mean, the problem is I have only Theodin, and I don't think Theodin's leadership all alone is going to be enough to fight such a force. I mean, they have really, really strong army, by the way. Luckily, we have almost the power points for the EOD. I don't know why this game is so hard, man. I mean, the enemy team is playing a really good game, by the way. Like, really, really good game. And I'm going to just join my team now. Um, my mistake in this game was to play kind of solo all the time. And I was never joining with Isengard. Isengard. I thought they kinda, they're gonna be able to handle their own side, but apparently not. So we need to kinda help them out a little bit, you know? Okay. Um, we need Ilma. I mean, that's the most important hero, because he provides so much additional damage leadership for the Rohirrim Archers. He's desperately, desperately needed. Okay, I'm gonna destroy one of the outposts now. The second my Elma is back on the field, we should be able to do stuff. We have also Cloud Break almost available, which we can use to slow down the enemy unit's movement speed. I might need to use it here, just to make sure to support my ally. Um, he should be able now. Uh oh, he's okay. That's a mistake from him because now his you know, him as you can see, they're kind of slowed down, and we can eventually chase him and kill him. again. You know, important uh, Rohirrim Archer. Is great counter to heroes, and that's the thing what you want to do. With Rohirrim matches, you want to target the heroes first. I'm going to use the Glorious Charge. My ally is also war chanted me. Uh, we should be very, very strong. Look, we are one-shotting everything. Everything. You see? Very strong, my friend. <laughs> okay, nice. Elma is also back on the field. That's good. Oh, I see Aragorn. Now you see him. Now you don't. Nice. Dude, war chanted. Oh, hear him, Archer with Glorious Charge and Theorian Leadership? Holy guacamole. And we are only one power point away from the EOD, the Offbreakers. Okay. I'm gonna also bring Aragorn... Uh, sorry for <laughs> splitting. Uh, I'm gonna bring also Aragorn with my army. Aragorn is a very mobile hero on foot. I mean, he of course, he cannot keep up with the speed of the Rohir Marches, but we can bring him close and just make sure that he also provides leadership. Again, that's 50% more damage leadership. And also combat experience, which helps them out to level up way, way faster. We are kind of command points kept almost, so we cannot redo, uh, recruit way more units, but we have a gigantic and ginormous uh, Rohirrim Archer army. You know, that's what you like to see. Please, please rain, so we can commit. Uh, not yet, okay. It's, it's not a big deal. But my Glorious Charge is still not available. Uh, there is a Rohirrim army level 10, a lot of them. But I think our army is still stronger with more leadership. Um, remember, we killed his heroes before. So he has no Theodian and no Elma. And uh, quality beats quantity most of the time. We are really close to level 10. Uh, we are, I mean, we are really close to Glory... <laughs> EOD, come on. The Offbreakers. I summon you to fulfill your oath. Kill the farm, get power points, nice. Huge. I'm pretty certain that we can one-shot Gandalf, you know, with all this damage leadership we got. I'm gonna just get with my allies now. They have a huge force, look. We can, we can sandwich him this way. He got stunned with Boromir. We're gonna use the glorious charge. Now for Wrath, now for Ruin, and the Red Down, Red Down. Okay. I'm not gonna trample, I'm just gonna kill with, look, Boromir first. Yeah, Hero Slayer. That is Gandalf, we can turn on him. I need, I can call this land. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. I have EOD now from the spare book. Did I kill him? I think I killed him. They're also trying to kill my heroes. I'm going to use EOD here on their, on their face. 
Nice. Kill all the le level 10 row here matches. It's so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Should be able to win this fight, I believe. Now, I mean, of course, we are, of course, able now because he's gonna call it GG. Okay. Yeah, and of course, crippled da down to level 9 Legolas, boys. Look at the levels of our heroes. Level almost 7 Turin, level 9 Legolas, level 5 Gilney, level almost 6 Elma, and level 8 King Elisar, Aragorn, Araton Sun. And guys, quick question, what is your favorite faction and what is your favorite matchup in 1v1s in Battle for Middle of 1? I mean, recently I've been enjoying Rohan a lot, you know? Um, I like the diversity and the versatile playstyle of the Rohan faction. And uh, also in, in matchups, I like Rohan against Isengard, for example, or Gondor against Isengard. These are my favorite matchups. But some of you guys might enjoy also Gondor against Rohan or Mordor against Isengard. Let me know. Come, my friends, the ends are going to war. The last march of the ends begins. Okay. Take down the outpost with the, with the ends and then destroy the outpost simultaneously. Multitasking is pretty much the key to victory in a one on one situation, but it's even more important in a 2v2, 3v3, 4v4 situation because the bigger the map is, the more multitasking is required, the more macro is required. I mean, I played kind of horrible this game with my micro. I was not able to do the stuff that I was hoping to do. Uh, again, I've been becoming quite rusty recently, but I will be definitely, you know, playing way more games in the future. And um, I'm used to, I mean, the 2v2 matches... Okay, he's gonna be defeated now. GG. And uh, the 2v2 matches are my favorite. Um, and 1v1's next. And then 3v3's and 4v4's, I'm not used to them yet. GG, well played, boys. Okay, nice. So Rohan is victorious. Rohan, Isengard, Isengard is all it takes. GG well played. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, keep hitting like a truck and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.